Today's lesson is called George Washington Carver. Before we start, let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is botanist. Say botanist. A botanist is a scientist who studies plants. Botany. Say botany. Botany is the study of plants. Crops. Say crops. Crops are plants that are grown in large numbers for people to use. Do you remember who this is? It's Johnny Appleseed. Remember, we learned how Johnny Appleseed became famous. He traveled throughout the United States planting apple seeds wherever he could so that apple trees could grow everywhere. Today, you're going to learn about another person who became famous because of his love for plants. I want you to listen carefully to find out what this person did because he loved plants and how he became famous. Today, you are going to hear about another man who, like Johnny Appleseed, became famous because of his love for plants. He too lived many years ago, though not quite as long ago as Johnny Appleseed. His name was George Washington Carver. He became famous throughout the United States as a botanist, which is a scientist who studies plants. George first developed his interest in plants as a young boy. As a child, George used his free time to explore the forests surrounding his home on a farm in Missouri. He spent many hours roaming the woods, discovering all sorts of wonderful things. George liked to collect things that caught his eye. George was especially curious about the different kinds of plants he noticed during his explorations. He wanted to study these plants further, but he knew that if he pulled them out of the ground and took them back to the cabin, they would die. So when George found an interesting plant, he would carefully dig it up and remove it from the place it was growing, roots and all, so he could plant it in a special garden close to the cabin. So a garden is a plot of land where plants are grown. George moves plant after plant to the special garden where he looked after each and every plant, watering and caring for them all to make sure they continue to grow. As an adult, George later wrote, I literally lived in the woods. I wanted to know every strange stone, flower, insect, bird, or beast. Day after day, I spent time in the woods alone in order to collect my floral beauties and put them in my little garden I had hidden in the brush not far from the house. Fascinated by the plants in his garden, George spent hours tending, observing, and studying them. In time, he came to learn about the special needs of each plant, how much water each needed, whether it grew best in full sunlight or with some shade. George also took a special interest in caring for plants that were not growing well. He became so skillful at caring for these sick plants that people throughout the neighborhood began to call him the plant doctor. George's passion for plants led him to develop another talent, that of an artist. Of course, his favorite subjects to paint were his beloved plants. Though he did not have a proper canvas or paints, he improvised with what he could find. A canvas is something you paint on, and when you improvise, you make or do something with whatever you have. George made his first paints from different plant parts. He mashed bark, roots, and wild berries and used them to paint on old boards or even flat rocks. George continued to paint throughout his entire life. George was truly a remarkable and talented person. He was an excellent student who learned quickly. He went on to study at college 
eventually becoming an expert in botany, the study of plants. After he finished college, George became a professor at a famous university in Alabama. There he spent the rest of his life continuing to study plants and experiment with ways to make them grow better. He discovered many ways to help farmers improve how they grew plants and crops on their farms. Crops are plants that are grown in large numbers to be used by people. George encouraged farmers to grow crops other than cotton, especially peanuts and sweet potatoes. He also found many ways to use peanuts in all different types of products, like dyes, oils, and makeup. He even came up with a number of recipes for foods that use peanuts. George Washington Carver is especially remembered today for these discoveries. So George Washington Carver really loved plants and he found a way to use his love of plants to help other people like farmers. Go ahead and answer the questions, boys and girls.